Mobile today saying goodbye to police officer Sean Tudor, killed in the line of duty last week. Thousands of you attended or watched here on News 5. The funeral, procession, and burial. News 5's Peter Albrecht is here in our studio to begin our coverage. Well, it certainly has been a really emotional day across the city. Let's begin with the funeral that took place today at Dauphin Way Baptist Church. Those in attendance remembered Sean Tudor, the police officer, the National Guardsman, the husband and son, and honored all who wear the badge. Public Safety Director James Barber stood before a flag-draped casket for the second time in less than 12 months. An incredible... This belief that we as an agency and we as a community have, that again we stand here to honor a fallen officer from the Mobile Police Department. As when Justin Billa was laid to rest last February, today at the funeral of Sean Tudor, police leaders promised to protect and serve despite the dangers. We in law enforcement will continue to fight for all of us that have fallen and all of us that will fall. That we will fight with courage, commitment and integrity despite the criticism that we oftentimes receive from the very people we're trying to protect. Police brass remembered his sacrifice to the community. His National Guard commander remembered his sacrifice for country. And his former precinct commander challenged all to live up to the example set by Officer Tudor. I implore you to think about his life, how he lived his life, and to celebrate. And who Sean was to you because I can tell you who he was to me. Sean was a man passionate about his family. He was passionate about his friends. He was passionate about his craft. And he was a passionate about the people he served, both local and throughout the nation. As Sean Tudor, police hero, was remembered, so too was Sean Tudor the man in several lighthearted moments. He also liked donuts. A lot, apparently said that he could eat a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts at one time. He was a huge Baltimore Ravens fan, that he loved heavy metal music, reading comic books, or comics, racing motocross, maybe the occasional glass of Merlot, beer, or a shot. And for some reason there was a tattoo saying party here. <laughs> Police Chief Lawrence Batiste said, above all, Sean Tudor was a doer, someone who didn't sit on the sideline but served with dignity and honor. Peter Albrecht, News 5.